everyone welcome to my channel 10 ways to wear it and welcome to my long awaited home updates video today i'm going to be sharing with you all the updates that i've made to my apartment particularly in my living room my bedroom and my kitchen i'm going to be taking you all around showing you what i've changed in my little place here so hopefully this video will be inspiring and it'll update you all on what i got going on over here so if you want to see what i've done to my little place stay tuned for this video Okay, you all, I'm ready to jump into this video. Before I do, I know you guys like to see my outfit of the day. Today, I'm wearing this really pretty embroidered dress from ASOS. As you can see, it has some crochet in the middle. It is such a pretty black summer dress. And like I said, it's embroidered all over. If you guys can see that embroidery, it is so pretty. Got on some red earrings. On my feet, I have on my new Doc Martens that you all saw in my recent spring shoe haul. So yeah, that's the outfit of the day. Now let me go ahead and show y'all what I done did up in here. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first and most obvious change that I made to my living room that you all seem to notice right away are the switch out of my chairs. I'll go ahead and insert a photo of what my living room looked like before when I had the gray chairs in here, but that's what it looked like before. It was pretty simple. I try to make the background as muted as possible because my living room is my studio. Y'all know that I'm in a one bedroom apartment. I don't wanna film in my bedroom, so the living room is what I got to work with right now, but that is going to change and it's gonna be fire. <laughs> but for right now, living room, studio, all in one. <laughs> but the addition of these chairs is something you all notice right away. Both of these egg chairs are from Target and make no doubt about it, these are patio chairs. <laughs> now, if I can quote my boyfriend, Aren't those for the patio? <laughs> yes, they are. But y'all know Alicia Rose is a little different. I like things a little different. So I don't have a patio and I wanted these chairs so I put them in my living room. And I thought they would be really cute to add some visual interest to my videos. And so far you guys seem to like it. They're not too much of a distraction. You know, I kind of stand in the middle of them when I'm shooting the videos. And you all seem to like the chairs a lot. So. To talk a little bit more about the chairs, they were $500 each from Target.com. I did get them from getting a notification. When I originally noticed them, they were sold out everywhere. And I originally wanted the black ones, the black cushions, which had this type of print on it. But I'm glad I did go ahead and go with the white ones in the end when they came back in stock because I think they're a little bit more muted, particularly for filming and stuff like that. I think the black ones would have been a little bit more of a distraction. So I went with the E-Crew colored ones and I really love them. These chairs are huge, y'all, huge. Two people can easily fit in one of these chairs. If you can see, a whole other person can sit right there, right? They're nice and deep, if you guys can still see me, and they're just really comfortable. I love them. They are so fun and cool. If you have a patio, I'd say go for it. But if you don't, I've seen a million pictures on Pinterest with people having these chairs in their living room, so I didn't feel too bad about doing it. But yes, you guys noticed these right off the bat. Now let's talk about some other things that you all noticed in my living room. So another thing you guys might have noticed that's not in every video because I do stand here in my videos, but I do have this in place in some of my videos, and that is this little table right here in the middle. That is from Joss and Main. I'll link that table for you because it is so adorable and different. But I got that from Joss and Main. It has like little bamboo leg, a bamboo leg in the middle, and then it's a wood top table. It is gorgeous. It's different. It just really pops in as far as like sitting in between these two chairs. I wanted something there that I could sit stuff on. I got my little coasters there and I'll insert close-ups of everything as I talk about it for you guys. But um, yeah, this little table was a must. And like I said, I do move it when I'm filming because you know, I kind of stand here and I don't want to be bumping into it, but sometimes it is present in the videos. Another thing that I added to my living room are shelves on the wall. I added some little decorative shelves so that I can put up some of my little artifacts and some of my decor items. I picked up two more of the statues that you guys saw in my TJ Maxx haul, the little thick woman statue, like the little thick meditating woman statue. I found her sister, so now I have the black one, the Latina one, and the white one all together. <laughs> and you guys will see that in a close-up insert. But I added some shelves up there, and I also added some of my things that I like. I love globes. I used to collect globes, but I got rid of a lot of them recently. I also found some really beautiful decorative boxes from TJ Maxx that I put up there. And you guys will see all of that close up such a cool little corner to have over my egg chair i really love those elements and you guys are familiar with my gold planters i showed you those in a tj maxx home haul that i did a while back so you're familiar with those but i'll link everything in my living room 
in the description in case you're interested in purchasing any of it but yes added some shelves up there I also added some really cool boxes let me go ahead and turn you guys a little bit so you can see those so these decorative boxes or storage boxes are something that I purchased a while back they were actually gray when I bought them and I've talked to you guys before when I did my apartment tour about the fact that storage is like important when you live in an apartment everything needs to have a place so that your apartment can feel like a home because you don't want to have everything just sitting out you want things to have a place and that's important for me in this apartment because I don't want to feel too crowded and too crunched I'm hoping to get my home this year but I don't know it might be the beginning of next year y'all but for right now I gotta keep it tidy and keep it tight up in here and that's what we are doing but I went ahead and painted these white so that they could blend into the background a little bit more and what I have in there is all my like decorative stuff I have my like fake flowers fake plants and stuff when I want to like switch out my decor and stuff like that I'll put the things inside of here and switch them out for other things because I'm the kind of person who I get bored with my surroundings easily so I like to have different stuff to switch things out so that is what is in here and that's a great idea for you all if you need to have some storage boxes paint them white or paint them whatever color your space is so that they can kind of just blend into the background and be a little more muted so that's what I did with those so you all might notice those in some of my videos because I think they actually do show a little bit when I'm filming so yeah that's what those are right there and right above those I have a really cute wall decor piece that I purchased from TJ Maxx it's sort of like a really nice macrame design wall piece and it's just so cute I did pick that up in store at TJ Maxx but I thought it was perfect to kind of match the other macrame pieces that I have in my living room I do have another piece that I'm going to show you all in just a second but yeah pick that up at TJ Maxx and it's super cute goes really nicely with my plant there and it's sitting right above those boxes so yeah cute little details right so another thing you all might have noticed is my tree here and this is something that I have been leaving in the videos because I like greenery in my videos I hope it's not too much of a distraction for y'all but I like to see greenery in the background and this is an artificial yucca or yucana tree I got this from Amazon I'll link it for you all along with everything else but you guys will see this usually I'll take it down and sit it on the floor and then move the table out of the way but I also want to show you all this wall piece that I picked up this is a macrame handmade piece I ordered that from Etsy and I'll insert a close-up for you all to see it but I did order that from Etsy it is so nice it was $119 worth every penny it's just one of those muted type of pieces that you have on your wall that does something for your space I don't know what it is but I've been loving macrame I've been loving like handmade things and just originally made things it just adds texture and interest to the space so I added that to the wall it is so nice and I will link that for you all as well so you can pick it up if you want and you can get that in black and cream as well as the white that I have so love that piece Alrighty, so giving you all another little angle to the space, I wanted to show you some pillows that I recently picked up. I got these from TJMaxx.com and you all might have noticed them in my recent Couch Chronicles videos, but they're by a brand called Cloth and & Canopy and they are stunning. I will insert a close-up of them. They have beading on them, they have yarn on them. They are such unique and fun pillows and I really love them. I added a faux leather pillow in the back of one of them just to kind of do something a little different. Y'all know I love texture. I love the element of just adding different types of materials and mixing medias to really create visual interest in my space. So those pillows are really nice and like I said, those are from TJMaxx.com. If they're still available, I'll certainly link them for you all. But one thing you guys never see is my coffee table my coffee table is right here in front of me and I'll insert a, a close-up of that a pan for you guys as well but I usually move it out of the way because it's just kind of in the way when I'm trying to film and walk back and forth to the camera and so forth I could certainly film with it in the middle of the room but I do usually move it out of the way I am on the hunt for a new coffee table I want something that's double layered like what I have now because as you can see I have baskets under my coffee table and I like to use those for storage and things like that so I am on the hunt for something lighter maybe something gold I do like a glass coffee table and I'm looking for one so we'll see when I up Update that I'll definitely share it with you all but there's the sofa there's the coffee table and let me show you guys a full pan of this room so you can see what other change I made that you might not be noticing right off the bat 
So here's kind of a slow pan of the living room in natural light so that you guys can kind of see everything just of me panning around the room. Of course, there's the chairs, my beautiful wall hanging, my little table in the middle. That candle fixture that you guys see on my small table is from Ross. And of course, there's the coffee table, my black jute rug. You guys might think there's like stuff on my rug sometimes, but it really just looks like that because it's a natural jute rug, but I do love it. It's from overstock.com. Moving on to another area, there is my TV console where all my storage is for the living room and of course those are the cabinets those are my Billy cabinets from Ikea they used to be actually on the other side when I had the gray chairs but I moved them to a wall by themselves of course there's my clothing rack because living room studio all in one so I do have to keep stuff prepared for my videos and that's like stuff that I'm gonna either shoot or do hauls on so I have it all out right there but when I'm not using my clothing rack I do put it away in the closet but here you have my my bookshelves with all my little artifacts my decor I am a trinket girl I love trinkets and I love things that just personalize your space so I love to put out the things that I like to look at I love faces and nudes and of course books <laughs> but there is the space that huge wall mirror that you see is from Nordstrom Rack I did share that in a haul a while back and I'll link it for you if it's still available but yes there is a full pan of the living room I hope you all like it Okay, you guys, so I'm in the kitchen, and as y'all know, I have a little baby kitchen, okay? But I thought I would go ahead and make me an iced coffee while I talk to you guys about the kitchen updates. So I got my ice cup here, got my little coffee concentrate that I make. I always make like a super concentrated coffee and keep it in the refrigerator so that when I want, um, you know, iced coffee, I can just kind of pour it on some ice, mix a little cream into it, you know. But um, as far as the kitchen updates, you guys know that I did like a little mini makeover on my kitchen recently. And you know, it basically just involved me putting up some shelves. And of course I'll insert clips for you all to see these things up close while I talk to you. But it just involved me putting up some shelves and um, making just some changes to the kitchen. Cleaning it really good, like a nice deep, deep clean. And then putting up shelves adding some new decor additions if you will and you guys will see that in just a second once I finish my coffee <laughs> but um, it's not too much I can do to this kitchen because this is an apartment and you know you can only do so much when you rent but I did do what I could for sure I kind of pushed it a little bit by putting up cabinets and all that stuff but um, I really like the way the kitchen turned out it's mostly just black white a little bit of browns mixed in and it's just a really cute little kitchen kitchen and it works for me you know I like to cook so I need a lot of like pots and pans and utensils and appliances and stuff so being able to fit all of that into a tiny kitchen a lot of it's just gonna be out on the counters and I'm the kind of person I like to just reach for stuff I don't like everything to be put away in drawers I like it to be up on the counter sitting out I'm the kind of person I don't mind seeing my dishes they don't have to be behind cabinets and stuff like that I like to actually see them sitting out I definitely want open shelving in my kitchen when I do move so I have plans for, you know, keeping my kitchen very functional, easy to reach for things, easy to cook, and just really like lived in. That's what I love. I love a lived in kitchen. I love a lived in home. So that's what I really want when it comes to my new kitchen. But as far as my little mini kitchen right now, you guys will see in the inside right now what it's looking like right now as far as my little cabinets, what I got going on as far as storage and decor. You all know in a couple of my TJ Maxx hauls, I picked up a bunch of really cute canisters porcelain canisters with wood tops and stuff like that to put in the kitchen I have a lot of baskets in my kitchen because I said earlier I like everything to have a place I like everything to have somewhere to go because that's important to me for staying organized in a smaller apartment so you'll see a lot of baskets and things like that where I put away things in the kitchen even though you can see through the baskets it still feels more put away to me and I'm the kind of person who I'm gonna use as much vertical space as I can in my kitchen so I'm gonna stack and stack as much as I can because it is a time kitchen so you all will see that as well but I do love my little baby kitchen it's cute it works for me I'm able to cook in it and ain't like I'm living in here so as long as I'm able to move around and cook it's all good but I did get a new stove you all will see that as well so I picked that up also got me a new stove because I needed a bigger stove because I want to do like cook with me videos and stuff like that of course I'm planning to really change up my content and stuff and do more lifestyle content when I move 
but I want to be able to do it right now too in my apartment so I did get me a bigger stove so that I can bake and do all that kind of stuff that I love to do so I added that to the kitchen as well this kitchen came with zero storage zero storage it had no cabinets whatsoever in it so of course I added my shelves and I added a black rack that rack is from Target that you all will see and I just have all my dishes stacked up on there. I added some hooks to add my pots and pans on there and that's just pretty much where I store everything in my kitchen. And I also added an island which I pushed up against the wall. That island is from Wayfair and I've had that for about 10 years. I got that a couple of years after I moved here. So yeah, there's the kitchen y'all. It's small, it's cute, but it works for me. I hope you guys like it. I hope it gave you some inspo if you have a small kitchen. I can definitely do like a kitchen breakdown if you guys want some real tips and tricks on how to store everything in a smaller kitchen. I can certainly do a video like that for you. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. But um, now that I've shown you the baby kitchen, made me an iced coffee. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move into the bedroom, y'all. I'm gonna show you what I've updated in there as well. Alrighty you guys, so we are in my bedroom right now and before I talk about what couple of things I updated in the bedroom, I do want to go ahead and show you all some art that I recently picked up from TJMaxx.com that I put in the hallway leading to my bedroom. I'll go ahead and insert that clip right now. But I did pick up these gorgeous pieces from TJMaxx.com. They were all under $30 and they're really large scale. I really love these pictures. They are so stunning. They came framed with a canvas inside and the quality of them is all amazing they look so good in my hallway just to give me a little bit of art inspo in the hallway they are gorgeous and like I said these are from tjmax.com all beautiful pictures of black women and then you have one outline type of picture I just love gorgeous feminine pictures that are kind of emotion evoking and these are like sort of just that like they kind of invoke a little bit of emotion when you see them they're gorgeous so so happy to have found those on tjmax.com what a lucky find y'all I love me some TJ Maxx this is basically down near a TJ Maxx haul <laughs> because like all the pillows in my living room are from TJ Maxx even the ones on the egg chairs and then so much of my decor around the house is from TJ Maxx they just have the most amazing decor items that blow me away all the time and speaking of TJ Maxx getting into the updates in my bedroom I did pick up these two large plates from tjmaxx.com they're like two really big circular type of plates and I'll insert a slow pan of the entire room while I'm talking for you guys to see but those really are the only things that I changed in my bedroom. I also got these um, pillows that are on my bed and on my bench from TJ Maxx and they're sort of like a straw type of pillow with little black pom-poms all over them. Those are by the Tommy Bahama brand and they also came from TJMaxx.com. Girl, they have the bomb stuff. Not only in the stores, but on the website. I love that, I love it because usually you can find everything you want in the stores but never on the website. So I'm so happy that TJ Maxx has such amazing things on their website because I always seem to luck up. But you all have seen most of the rest of my room. I have showed it in various videos here and there. My Alicia Style sign came from a really awesome website. I will go ahead and link them below. They're called etchedonwood.com and they can customize any type of sign or you know any type of monogram that you want in your bedroom as far as a wood type of sign. So I did pick that, that up from them. They sent that to me as a gift around Christmas time. But everything else in my bedroom is pretty much what it's been and I don't take you guys in here that often well I don't bring you guys in here that often but uh, this is the bedroom I try to keep it as neat as I can it don't always look like this sometimes it's clothes thrown on the bench sometimes it's clothes on the floor sometimes it's a pair of shoes on the floor whatever I did clean it up for y'all so I want y'all to know I'm not perfect <laughs> nobody's perfect usually when people are doing these kind of videos they might have cleaned up or straightened up a little bit and I definitely did but this is the bedroom. My bedding, if you guys are interested, is from Amazon. And it is sort of like a faux fur type of bedding. My sister calls it that dog on your bed. Okay? <laughs> She'd be like, girl, that dog on your bed. <laughs> but I love texture. I love texture. And so when I saw this on Amazon, I just had to pick it up. But as you can see, it is nice and black and luxurious. And it really does bring that textural type of feel to the room. In my bedroom, I like sort of like a tribal African type of decor. I do have some other angles that you guys can't see in this video. I have an African mask that you guys can't see, a really large one on the wall. But hopefully one day I'll get to show y'all the whole bedroom. I'm not hiding anything, it's just, you know, trying to get around the room with my ring light and whatnot. But you guys see what the room looks like 
for the most part and I hope you guys like it those are the updates to the boudoir <laughs> I hope you all like it basically just those two plates and I threw those kind of um what do you call it I guess you could call them printed grass plates on the wall. Those are from Amazon. I'll link all of this stuff in the description for you all. And if I happen to forget anything, just hit me up in the comments and I'll add it. But um, yeah, that's the bedroom and uh, it's simple, it's cute, it works. My bench is in front of my um, French doors, so I usually don't open them. Sometimes I'll move the bench over and open them, but that's usually like when it's like the dead of summer, I'll open up the doors. But um, yeah, that is the bedroom, y'all. I hope you like it. <laughs> Alrighty, so the last update slash idea that I want to show you all is in my bathroom and that is where I am right now. I brought you guys into the commode. Sorry y'all. But I wanted to show you real quick this wall basket that I picked up. That is from Wayfair.com and it's a really nice little basket to store like your towels and stuff in or you can put other little decor on there. This bathroom again like my kitchen came with zero storage so I actually made those towel boxes that you see up there I actually made those they were just like storage boxes from Ross and I painted them black and did something really cool with them and put them on the wall to store my towels in I also added that basket on the wall that you all see because again zero storage in this bathroom so I added that but yes I really wanted to just show you all the two macrame little wall decor things that I added to the wall as well as that basket I think this is so cute and it just just adds a little zen to my bathroom and I, as you can see I have all my face towels on there my makeup face towels that I got from TJ Maxx that say makeup on them and it just looks really nice on the wall in my bathroom so I wanted to show you guys that I want to show you the whole bathroom because it's just a tiny little bathroom but um, nothing major to see other than that but I just wanted to show that to you all and I will link that wall basket for you because it's cute Alrighty, so that concludes my home tour slash home updates video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspo if you're living in an apartment like me on how you can kind of make your apartment look a little jazzed up, a little luxurious and whatnot. I do have a specific video coming for you all dedicated to storage. I've been working on that video for a little while and I'll be putting it together and posting it for you all very soon. But that's why I didn't go into like my shoe closet, my coat closet and all that because I want to share that in a specific video dedicated to storage. So I'll show you all how I really do store everything from my makeup hair stuff all that stuff because I got a lot of stuff y'all <laughs> but I'm gonna be bringing that video to you all very soon but I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I inspired you a little bit I will link everything that is still available that I have in my place in the description so if you're interested in any of the items that I share with you I'll link new and old items that you've seen in the past I'll look for them y'all and link them for you so check that description if I inspired you a little bit but I want to thank y'all again for watching i want to thank everybody who subscribed during this video if you didn't go ahead and hit it now girlfriend on this channel i'm bringing you all types of fashion lifestyle hair beauty videos a little bit of everything and i know you'll love my content as well as the community i have here so hit that subscribe button to all my regulars i love y'all so much i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in the comments and i'll see you on the next video bye y'all